I'm Peter Keene, I'm with the Sports Car Club of America and I'm on the club racing board, CRB. We in partners with Honda and Mazda came up with the B-Spec rules. Wanted to be showroom stock based, but a little bit more liberal with, you know, kind of the Spec Miata type theme with the, the aftermarket uh, suspension components. You know, we've just gone to every length that we can think of to make sure that we've used the experience of showroom stock from the past and, and make this a good level playing field. I think one of the great things about B-Spec is how inexpensive they are. I mean, I think it's a great entry level grassroots type racing. Hi, Charles Espinlove, Mazda racer and owner of Safe Craft Restraint Systems. Well, why would you race a B-Spec car? And in my personal experience, I've raced about everything under the sun, 800 horsepower Trans Am cars, you know, Porsches, Mazdas, just some of the greatest equipment on the planet. And uh, that question can be answered once you drive a Mazda and a B-Spec car and get into that race is just as much fun as any other car I've ever driven. And it's that racing aspect, that passion for racing and the, the competitiveness. I'm Ken Payne. I'm the Motorsports Technical Manager for BF Goodrich Tires in North America. Uh, for the B-Spec project, uh, the BFG uh, tire we've selected is the G-Force R1, which is one of our grassroots motorsports focused uh, competition tires that's DOT legal. In terms of tire expense uh, versus performance, it's going to provide a really good level uh, of balance of performance and cost for the racer and yet be very competitive on the track. Uh, my name is Sean Hedrick. I'm the uh, President and CEO of S-Box Engineering, uh, which uh, supplies parts for the Mazda 2 for B-Spec Racing. We're trying to make it easy for folks to take a Mazda off the showroom floor and turn it into a race car and go racing. So S-Box Engineering, we supply, uh, starting with the roll cage kit, is one of the primary pieces. So we basically have a uh, full, complete turnkey kit that someone could uh, either install themselves uh, in the car or have a, a professional welder install for them. Now really just, um, you know, we're just trying to make it easy to go race a Mazda product. Mazda builds such a fantastic product. Um, in this case, we're obviously going to take this to the longest uh, endurance race in North America after a 72-hour build, roughly. Um, so we want to make it as easy as we can for somebody to pick up one of these cars off the showroom floor, get all the parts they need to make it go racing, pick up the parts a week or two later, have a car ready to go racing and, and uh, support the brand. Hi, I'm Andy Weinberg. I am the Motorsports Marketing Manager for Miller Welders. Miller makes a number of welding machines that encompasses everything from the DIY guy to the professional. With this type of racing, it's a spec racer class, so in this class, they don't have a sanctioning body rule that determines whether it's MIG welded or TIG welded. So in this application, a MIG welder would be, would be great. Uh, or if you want something more professionally done, like through a professional organization like Long Road Racing, they have a uh, preference to TIG weld the chassis. But in this application, it could also be MIG welded by a DIY guy. We are partnering with uh, Mazda in building a B-Spec race car. This is a program that Mazda had the vision to look for partners to make this something where the average racer could initiate themselves. BF Goodrich had supplied our tires uh, for the program. They're also supplying the tires for our 25-hour uh, run. S-Box Engineering has been a wonderful partner in the creation of the cage, as well as seat brackets, steering wheel quick disconnects, things of that nature, all of which are designed to help with the speed of the build. HRP, a major player in the road racing business, has donated things such as the seats and a lot of the ancillary parts for the car itself. We also have Safecraft. Safecraft, which is the same belts that we use in all of our Grand Am cars, has created the nets, all the safety belts. All of these pieces and parts have to be stuck together. We were very fortunate in talking with Miller Welding Equipment, and Miller has donated a uh, large platform for our MIG and TIG welding and plasma cutting equipment that we've been using at the show. This car started off this morning strictly as a street car. We have stripped out the interior this morning. We have now taken the roll cage. We have the roll cage tack welded in and are finishing all of the welds on the car. Tomorrow, we're going to work on all of the suspension pieces for the car. Add the suspension, do the exhaust, add an oil cooler as well. And Saturday, we have decals that will be applied to the car and we will do a full setup on the vehicle. 
After that, the car will then be loaded onto a transporter and brought out to Thunder Hill in California, where the car will be entered uh, into 25 hours of Thunder Hill.